Welcome back uh, again to the Agile Show where we educate and entertain. Welcome back to yet another episode of this calculation. And in this video now, we are going to calculate the purchases uh, schedule on a monthly basis for the month of May to September. And this question now will be affected by the additional information number two, where they are saying the current purchase price of uh, 20 shillings per unit is expected to rise by 20% on 1st July and by another 25% on 1st August. Then disbursement to suppliers are made in full in the month following the month of purchase. That is the data we are going to use in this part. Now we continue. Remember, if you missed the video on uh, the sales or data collection schedule, please check on the link below this video and we'll see you there. Now, purchase, uh, purchase uh, schedule here, we are going to calculate in this manner. So, it will start by where we are looking for the purchases. Remember, the data is still flowing. But we, for this purpose, for clarity, we may just note this. June july august and september then we are having the purchases that were made purchases purchases we come back to our question here the purchases for each and every month was given from may in units that is up to september so these are the data we are going to feed in at that point so it will be remember all these are in units in units not in value so may we had 5000 june was having 5000 july 9000 the other one is 20000 september is 12000 what follows is we need to check on the cost per unit the cost per unit cost per unit cost per unit now remember in our additional information number two we were told the current purchase price of 20 shillings per unit is expected to rise by 20 percent on first july so to mean in may june the price will be 20. so you indicate that 20 yeah, also 20. Then reaching July, you are told the price will now increase by 20%. So increase 20% by increase, uh, increase 20 shilling by 20%. What are you going to get there? You will find it to be 24. So that will be the price for July 24 shillings cost per unit. Then we are told again in August that and by another 25% on 1st August on 1st August so you know on 1st August the price that will be here will again increase this price 24 shillings by 25% what will you get it will be 30 and that means even September will be having cost of 30 per unit now from there what is the value of these purchases? Here, we'll be having 100,000. That is the purchases in units, uh, unit times the cost per unit. Here, also the same, 100,000. Here will be 216,000. This one will be, if you multiply, you get 600,000. And lastly, this one, uh, will be 360,000 and we double underline that is the purchases that were made what follows remember we are preparing the purchase schedule we are going to check for again the cash payments cash payments then we were told in this additional information that disbursements to suppliers are made in full 
in the month following the month of purchase. Disbursement to, uh, to suppliers are made in full in the month following the month of purchase. Following the month of purchase. So to me that in May in May there will be no payment for any but for the purchase made. But for June we'll have to pay the purchases made in May, which was a hundred thousand. That is based on that additional information. Then come to July, we'll pay those purchases made in June, which will still be a hundred thousand. Then in August, we'll pay those purchases made in July, which is 216 thousand this is just basically based on the additional information that you have been given there then the purchases made in august will be paid in full in september six hundred thousand so that now become our purchase schedule any question we meet in the next video where we will be calculating the cash budget still using this data given in this question. I'm your tutor, Julius Joseph. Kindly subscribe and we meet in the next video.